my little sister and I both really wanted um, a dog, and we asked my dad for a dog, and instead of getting a dog, we got chickens. <laughs> And I guess like that emotion was kind of what got my story in motion. I'm kind of one of those people who sit down and just kind of write. Like I have an idea and then I sit down and I just kind of like do it. And then along the way like I'll go back and be like this part's ridiculous and take it out. But then like I never actually like sit down and do like the brain webs which everyone does. Like because I feel like that gets my thoughts even more jumbled and if I just go on the path that I originally thought that I should take, then it usually gets me where I should be going. I have some tense problems getting from one section of the story to the next one, which I struggle with in a lot of my writing, but like, I feel like I fixed it just by taking out a few words, but other than that it came pretty easily, because it was based on something that actually happened to me. <laughs> of course some of it is exaggerated, because I don't actually remember going to the mall. <laughs> but, but like, I guess every kid can kind of relate to the fact that you go to the mall and there's a lot of sticky, smelly kids, but, like, other than that, it pretty much turned out the way I wanted it to. It helps me vent my emotions. <laughs> like, maybe somewhere deep down inside me I was angry that I got chickens instead of a dog. And so, like, sitting down and writing it out kind of helps deal with the fact that I got a chicken. Like, 27 of them instead of a cute little puppy dog. And so, maybe my anger towards my dad is a little bit less because, hey, I've wrote about him in this story and com hopefully completely <laughs> embarrassed him. I mean, there's always room for improvement. Like, I have stories that I thought were, like, the most amazing thing I've ever written when I wrote it and then gone back, like, a month later and seen mistakes and stuff that I wish I had changed. And so I know there's always going to be improvement in my writing, but I'm happy with the first outcome. I was inspired by Picasso's Guernica and by interpreting some of his forms in his work, I created them into my own little piece. It was an uh, acrylic painting over canvas, and you just sketch the um, design on the canvas and paint over it. It was a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be, and it was kind of hard to make it so big. I think I developed my acrylic painting skills to a new level by learning how to do the project over the two paintings. When I was painting it on my easel, it all the easel fell forwards onto the drop cloth I had down on my floor, and it stamped the project on the floor. <laughs> I am happy with the end product.